Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. So we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you in love, Scorpio. What's coming towards Scorpio in love? What is coming towards Scorpio in love? What is coming towards Scorpio in love? Scorpio. What is coming towards Scorpio in love? Scorpio, I hope you guys are doing well. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the King of Pentacles. This is very positive. Wow, all of these pentacles here. What's coming towards Scorpio in love? Oh, wow. Okay. So you have the Five of Cups being paired with the Six of Cups. Interesting. Oh, wow. King of Cups also wants to come out. So let's start with the Eight of Pentacles, all right? This is someone who is very hardworking. This is someone who's manifesting, all right? I feel like this is your lover, Scorpio, or your your love interest who is trying to fix themselves. That's what I'm hearing. This person knows that they have a lot of cleaning up to do in their life. Um, if you look at this card closely, you see this gentleman here. He has a hammer in his hand. You know, he's building something here. This is your person working towards fixing the connection. I feel like this person is working on their personal life though. So it's like with the Eight of Pentacles, they could be working on their finances. They could be working to make themselves less dependent um, on other people. But this is, I, I just feel like they're cleaning up their life, okay, in order to make this happen with you. And a lot of you Scorpios don't even know this because it's, it, I feel like it's going to be a surprise, all right? You just feel like this individual is not really focusing on you and they're doing other things. But whatever they're focusing on is in relation to you. So in Clarity of the Eight of Pentacles, you have, yeah, that is why you feel like the connection is stagnant because they're not making a move. They're not taking action towards you, but they are building themselves. They're getting themselves prepared to come towards you. But it, look, it looks here at Scorpio that they're not, they're not saying it for whatsoever reason, all right? You have the Three of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. Oh, Four of Wands. Hmm. I want to know more. Tell me about this Three of Swords. It's like this person doesn't feel good enough for you for whatsoever reason. Um... Ace of Cups, the Fool. Yeah, they're definitely coming towards you. Absolutely. The Fool is here. Ace of Cups. This is a divine grant, you know, of a new beginning or a second chance in love between the two of you. So that's your confirmation. There has been heartbreak between the two of you. They're, they're feeling heart, heartbroken right now. Um, the Four of Wands is clarifying this heartbreak. So it didn't discourage them. Whatever the situation is that hurt you and them, they are still pushing through. They are still passionate. They're still determined to overcome the obstacles and to redeem this connection with you. They have not given up. But whatever this heartbreak is, it really made this person feel defeated. Like this is 10 swords to the back. Let me see. It's like this person, yeah, it's like their self-esteem right now is really down. It could be something that was said to them. It doesn't have to be. Was something said to this person, to Scorpios? Yeah, you see, the high priestess came out. So, yes, I feel like... Um, they are working very hard on themselves, could even be working very hard on their finances because for a lot of my Scorpios, maybe you're coming off to this person as someone who's like well-established and successful and they feel like they need to get up there with you um, to reach your level. But I feel like, I feel like someone told them something here that wasn't true. Tell me more. 
they're coming towards you, yeah, with the chariot, you're going to get your clarity, but I just feel like there was some funny business here, okay? Someone made this person feel like they're not good enough for you, okay? Knight of Wands, they're definitely coming towards you. There was a situation where it made them feel like they're not good enough and they need to work more. King of Pentacles. Fool again. Clarify the King of Pentacles. So Scorpio, this person's coming towards you so transformed. Like, they're much more stable, especially financially. This is the King of Abundance. And this is all because of you. Like, the extent that this person is willing to go through to, to make you happy, to make this work. Yeah, they're leaving things behind from their past, coming towards you as the King of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, Eight of Cups, same repeating cards, which is confirmation. This is incredible. I mean, the king of abundance, this is what they're transforming into. You even have the fool here. This is the risk taker. You have the death. So the death being paired with the fool means they decided to end something completely from their past. All right. Whatever it was that they were investing in with the eight of cups was not pleasing them. It was not benefiting them. So this is like an ending, an official ending to their past. And perhaps they needed to do that, all right? They needed to clear certain things from their past in order to become a stable lover for you. Ace of Cups and the Emperor, they're determined. I'm telling you, with the Emperor here, this is someone who is not going to take no for an answer. They're determined to get the second chance with you. Wow. So look, the star card is on the back. That is amazing. And then on the back as well, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So I knew that's what it was, where they see you as the Nine of Pentacles. They see you as successful, established. This person absolutely admires you and they want to get on your level so that there will be an equal give and take. All right. So they're working very, very hard so that the two of you can have this Ten Pentacles here. Wow, Scorpio, this is really it's almost surreal like this connection don't underestimate it Scorpio don't underestimate this person either all right so you have the five of cups which is regrets all right I feel like I feel like Scorpio this is a this is about to be you I feel like this is what's going to happen what's coming towards you is you're going to see this person's transformation and you will feel so bad for like giving up on them at a certain point um, in clarity of the five of cups, you have the six of cups here. So you're, before this reunion happens, you're over here feeling like it's ruined, that this person doesn't want you. There's no more chances between the two of you, but you don't even know that they're just focused. I feel like they don't want to tell you because they're like grinding with this eight of pentacles is like, don't bother me. All right. I'm trying to get myself together for my person, for my Scorpio. But I also feel like they want to surprise you as well. I really do. You even have the Six of Cups here. I You're stressing over something that you don't need to stress over, okay? This is going to be a positive outcome. And you don't even know that this person is going to come back and reunite with you, Scorpio, with the Six of Cups. You're over here crying over spilled milk. Then the surprise is them coming coming to you with an emotional offer, the King of Cups, Tell me more about the Five of Cups. Ten of Wands. Three of Pentacles. And then on the back you have the Queen of Pentacles. Scorpio, I feel like the situation is you have been stressing out, all right, about some third party situation and you were worried about what your person is doing with another individual. You were so torn. You were like, are they doing the right thing? Are they ending this third party situation? What's going on? You're carrying so much stress 
here over this individual for nothing because this third party is definitely on their side. So if you really trust this person, you will trust them to handle this situation on their own. For a lot of you, your person was stuck in some kind of karmic cycle with another individual. But you've got to release these these burdens here and trust that they will do the right thing to clear out any karmic um, cycles in their life because this is their journey. It's not yours. And I know from you know, having to stand back and watch them from a distance. I know it's stressful. You're worried about what the outcome will be. But if you know that this is your person, trust that they will handle it. All right, that they will clear this karmic cycle here. And then on the back, you have the queen of pentacles, which is you. All right. Um, wow, Scorpio. This is really, really beautiful. We're going to go more in detail about what this encounter or reunion is going to be like. We're just going to get more information um, about your situation. So if you're interested in viewing the extended reading, please check the link in the description box. You're also welcome to book a private reading with me by visiting my website. That link is in the description box. And also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much, and you have a great day.